PGM is working closely with our utility partners and has the capacity to serve customers reliably and to meet demand based on the expected conditions during this stretch of hot weather. At the same time, we think it's important to communicate clearly in advance of any extreme weather and the unlikely event of potentially stressed grid conditions. In advance of the heat, PGM has issued a hot weather alert for the 13 states and Washington, D.C., and that's the area that we serve. This alert is a routine procedure that PGM issues ahead of forecast at 90 degree weather and or high humidity in order to prepare transmission and generation personnel and the facilities for expected increases in electricity demand. This alert will remain in effect through Friday, June 21st and may be extended depending on updated weather forecast. And indeed, we are all getting ready for that big prolific heat wave that sets up shop Sunday and really gets going Monday through the end of the week. In the meantime, we have a cold front coming through and Lori from Raleigh County sent these two photos. She's actually up at WVU in Morgantown where there's more cloud cover, even the threat for thunderstorms that far north in West Virginia. So thank you very much, very much, very much, Lori, for those photos. Now again, see, on our radar scan, we have one or two showers near Ripley heading south and east. There could be a thunderstorm north of Fayetteville. The rest of us will be dry. You can see though where the cold front is. It's approaching western Pennsylvania. We have a couple of thunderstorms hugging the border of Pennsylvania and Maryland and that's where they will stay. 77 in Marlington, but we are 80 along the Route 19 corridor and I-64. Here's the heat building across the southern plains and the stripe of cooler weather across the Great Lakes. Cold front comes through tonight, wind shift, beautiful Saturday, increasing heat Sunday, and then all this heat heads right in our direction all the way up through New England. So no matter how far north you go in the United States, it's going to be a scorcher. Cooler than 24 hours though, that's good. Cooler than yesterday across parts of Canada, Toronto, and that's the air mass heading in our direction. But the warm up across the northern plains and the warm up across the southern plains is heading for us early next week. So tonight we drop to 60 degrees. Not too bad outside. Once we get into tomorrow, folks might be teeing it up at Bridge Haven Golf Course. A little muggy in the morning till about 10 a.m. Sun filled day after 11 a.m. Dew point drops. Perfect day to hit the links on Saturday. Now your aches and pains forecast. Given the fact that we have a heat dome at the surface and a loft moving in, we really don't see any major aches caused by the barometric pressure over the next seven days. This heat ridge is going to build Sunday and continue all next week. And then we are watching late next week into the early part of the weekend, a front which is going to zap the heat a little bit. We're gonna go from extreme to just above average. The timing of that will be sometime Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Again, we're talking a week from this coming Saturday. That'll help kick the heat back just a bit. A Couple of things you really wanna keep in mind is that if you have any of these symptoms, faint or dizzy, excessive sweating, cool, pale, clammy skin, a weak pulse or muscle cramps, you are suffering from heat exhaustion and of course, no sweating, dry skin, a red skin means that you are suffering from heat stroke. Keep this in mind as we go throughout the next seven days because this is the first heat wave of the season and the first one can potentially be very deadly. 81 degrees tomorrow. We are in the mid to upper 80s on Father's Day. 91 degrees on Monday. There's the stretch of temperatures well into the 90s, overnight lows in the 60s, 30% chance that that cool front could arrive Friday. But I ultimately think the best chance for thunderstorms with the next cold front will be Saturday or Sunday, perhaps the following Monday. So that's something that we will continue to track because when you break down a big heat wave like that, you normally get these big thunderstorms. So it's just something that we're gonna watch in the next seven days. All right, thank you so much for that. And for the tips on how to distinguish heat exhaustion, from a heat stroke. Yes. That's very serious because you never want to call 911 whenever it's too late. Yes, exactly. If it's too late, there's nothing you can really do. And we mentioned this too before about the pets too. Mm -hmm. You know, keep them off the pavement as much as possible. Make sure they have plenty of water if they're outside. Yes. Always check the back seat of your car when you go outside, especially if you're leaving the store and coming back home. You never want to leave your pet or your child unattended. So these are just things to keep in mind. And the electric companies are ready 
for this heat wave. Yes, and we have some energy saving tips tonight at our 6 o'clock show, but we have even more news and weather coming your way right now in a little bit.